It's Ash from Super Videos back for another video for The Last of Us. In this video we're going to be taking a look at some pretty interesting details and reveals about The Last of Us Part 3. Now of course you may be asking, what am I talking about? There is no Last of Us Part 3. Well, if you've been following the news for The Last of Us, you know that it's been rumored for quite a while now that Part 3 is in production. And just recently, like a few days ago, there was a credible source that pretty much confirmed that Part 3 is in fact in production. And there is some major leaks that came out from this credible source about the storylines and characters that might show up in Part 3. There are a few things that are definitely super interesting. One has to do with Part 3 actually coming out sooner than expected. The others have to do with the plotline, which has to do with a new base being introduced in Part 3. And I'll explain what I mean by a new base. And the one final thing that is kind of not really talked about in these reveals in detail, but something that has brought up a lot of speculation about what might happen in Part 3. And that has to do with how much Ellie and Abby are going to be involved in Part 3. We'll talk about all of that and more when we return. So stay tuned. We'll be right back to break this thing down. Alright, as always, before we dive into it, smash the like button, subscribe to join our community, and press the bell to be notified when I upload on the channel. With that said, let's dive right into it. So there's actually two credible sources that we're going to be talking about in this video. One is Twitter handle Daniel RPK or Daniel Richman, who from what I've heard is a credible source in this area. And he did have like a Patreon post about The Last of Us Part 3, where he actually went into detail about character information for characters in Part 3 and some story details. I'm just going to read through this and share my thoughts as I go through it. So part of the plot will be about a group of scavengers surviving on the outskirts of a post-apocalyptic city, crammed into a Victorian house that serves as their base. This is what I was talking about regarding a new base being introduced in Part 3. Obviously, there wasn't really a base or a community, whatever you call it, in Part 1. Well, not really. Jackson was there, but it didn't really become a community that we know of until the second game. In the TV adaptation, it was different, but obviously in the game, Jackson as a base or a community really became a thing in Part 2. But obviously part 3 is going to see the fans being introduced to a new community, a new base. And it's going to be a Victorian house. Now, the change from an actual community to a Victorian house as a base is interesting. I don't know how far they're going to take it with that, but this definitely sounds extremely interesting. And obviously, by that little bit of information, we know that there's going to be this Victorian house in the outskirts of a post-apocalyptic city. Which city is that going to be? We don't know. It could be Seattle, which would kind of fit nicely with part two, or it could be something else, maybe something that connects more with the ending of The Last of Us Part Two, which is about where Abby was headed, which is near Los Angeles. So Los Angeles could be the post-apocalyptic city that they're referring to, or it could be San Francisco, which connects to the multiplayer. So it could be something like that. But the rest of the information is regarding the characters or the roles that they want to cast for part three. So these are the characters, Lucas, who's a male, affable, but develops a relationship with another young scavenger and will have a turn that shows his dark side. Not too much to say there, just that it seems like Lucas is going to be the antagonist of the story or maybe one that has a redemption arc of some sort, something along those lines, much like obviously Abby. Mason, another character, a male, a former soldier. When Val gets put in charge, Mason must choose between loyalty to Ezra and the house. Now, obviously, 
We don't know any of those other characters, but they will be introduced below. But before I get there, I do want to talk a little bit about the first part of that. So Mason is a former soldier. We don't know if that means a soldier from before the apocalypse or possibly a Fireflies or a Fedra soldier. We don't know which of those three. Could be any of those. But next, Val is a female who is the leader of the group. She basically runs the house, the Victorian house that we talked about. Next is Ezra, a male who wants to take over the house from Val. So there's going to be a power struggle between Val and Ezra and Mason, who is friends with Ezra, has to choose between his loyalty to Ezra and the house and basically siding with the person in charge who's obviously Val. Last character is Gracie who's a female 18 to 25 and no other details about this character. Now this brings up a lot of questions. Most of those questions are surrounding how much story and how much involvement are Ellie and Abby gonna have in this third game. Now obviously if we go back to part two specifically where things ended both Ellie and Abby pretty much left everyone else behind and they were kind of on their own so the idea that Ellie and Abby are going to come into contact with new survivors is definitely extremely high so it's definitely a possibility that Ellie or Abby or both of them are gonna have a run-in with the people at the Victorian house. And it might be a situation where they're in the middle of it and they have to kind of choose sides as well in the power struggle that's happening inside the house. That could be an interesting turn for the story to go. We could see maybe both there and Ellie siding with one team and Abby siding with the other team. So in that sense, you would still continue the beef between these two characters, but not really continue the same beef. You know what I mean? So you could have it so that the problems that they have with each other now is not about their past, but rather about the current story and the current way things are and possibly their future. But there's another credible source who actually talks a little more about some of the things that we talked about, he says, look, it's early, story details are tweaked and everything is potentially up in the air to be changed. But I assure you, I've heard Ellie is at least as important in Last of Us Part 3 as she was in Part 2. So obviously, it seems like Ellie's involvement is at least going to be the same as it was in Part 2. Maybe not more, but definitely not less based on what they're saying. But it doesn't say anything about Abby. So it's still unknown whether Abby's going to have any involvement at all. Whether she's not even going to be in part three. You know what I mean? But as they say, this is still early. Things could change. So take everything that we're talking about with a grain of salt because there is no confirmed details. These are speculations based on things that we have from very credible sources. Next thing they talk about is... All I can say is I've been very vocal for quite a while that The Last of Us Part 3 is in development and others are finally noticing. And then he goes on to say major filming is happening this year. So that's definitely interesting. Now obviously filming here means motion capture, audio and all of that because they're not actually filming. This is definitely interesting. This means that we could get The Last of Us Part 3 as early as 2025 or even 2024 which is definitely earlier than a lot of people anticipated for those that anticipated it because obviously lots of people, lots of fans I should say, didn't even think there would be a part three. But obviously a lot of things are flooding in pretty much unofficially confirming that part three is coming. But that's pretty much everything I wanted to talk about. One final thing though has to do with some details that Neil Druckmann the creator of the game, actually said himself about the game. He didn't say this recently, he said this a while back, but it's things related to part three. What he said is, the story is far from over, obviously referring to the story of The Last of Us, which kind of leaves it open that 
He was talking about continuation of the story later without actually confirming it. But he did say that the next project they're going to do, not specifically saying part three, but the project, the next project that they're going to do will be scripted a lot more like a TV show than a game, which is definitely interesting. And he did say that there are multiple writers in a writer's room who will be involved in writing this next project. So that's definitely super interesting. And what I'm thinking is, since we know that they're going to be doing a season two of The Last of Us, which is going to bring to TV part two of the game, and they're going to do a season three probably, which is still going to be a part two, they might be structuring the third game in such a way that makes it easier for them to adapt to the TV show when we get there in season like four or five. And that might be as a result of the difficulties and the challenges they might have faced to bring to TV the first game. Now, not saying that they did a bad job. I've had my problems with what they did in the TV adaptation. I've done several videos on that. You can check it out if you're interested. But I still think that they're probably looking at critics and fans alike and kind of looking at ways they could make their jobs easier later when they get to trying to adapt a third game into the TV show. So they're being proactive with things. I could be totally off, but I feel like I'm on to something here. But that's pretty much everything I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to join our community, and press the bell to be notified when I upload on the channel. That's it for this video. See you next time for another super video. Thank you.